Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joy Bettenhausen. We started off our day with some sunshine. The clouds will increase throughout. Also, temperatures, it's feeling like summer once again. Don't worry, we've got relief on the way. That relief is going to come after the rain chance. The rain chance will stick with us through the end of the work week. Dew points starting to feel maybe slightly humid out there. We'll be in the low 60s by this afternoon evening, slowly climbing upward towards Friday as that rain chance increases. Friday looks to be the best day to see the most rain across eastern Iowa, although it's not going to really amount to much after a three-day total. Southerly winds, even though they're light, around 5 to 10 miles per hour throughout the day and tonight, still ushering in more warmer air and moisture to fuel that rain chance. Today's highs, this is what we're looking at. Mid to upper 80s across the board, maybe nearing 90 in our far southern counties. Well above normal. Normal highs sitting at 72 degrees. Tonight, pretty mild. Low, low to mid 60s across much of the board. We will keep a partly to mostly cloudy sky. Let's talk about this rain chance right now. Low pressure system in Canada bringing a cold front that's sweeping through the plain states right now that'll continue to work its way eastward be eventually near eastern Iowa by about Friday it's going to fuel that rain let's talk about this rain chance at least for this afternoon cloud cover will increase so say goodbye to the sunshine as we continue to see clouds build now as we head towards midnight tonight we start to see a migration of more showers and storms making its way across central Iowa it won't really be into eastern Iowa until about Thursday morning or so, but it's just for our far western counties. We could see a couple of showers, maybe a storm or two right around 6 a.m. So if you head to work at this time, maybe you live or work near Tama, Waterloo, all the way up to even New Hampton, you might have a little bit of rain with you. Pushing this out further till about noon, notice that rain chance still stays in our far western counties. Most of us in eastern Iowa should remain dry tomorrow. Rain continuing through about 5, 6 o'clock, but it looks like it may clear out for the evening commute, so that's some good news there. But more rain continuing to move westward. This is midnight until 1 a.m. on Friday. When we head towards Friday, that's when we start to see more rain pushing into the area. So we've got rain in the forecast for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So when it's all said and done, our far so southern counties could see maybe up to an inch of, a rain, inch of rain there, but that bulk of the rain an inch, two inch, two and a half maybe, it's going to stay far to our west in the western plains state, so we shouldn't have to worry about any flooding. City by city forecast shows Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. In the 80s today, maybe low to mid 80s tomorrow, but notice the temperatures keep coming down as we approach the end of the work week. There's Friday with the chance of showers and storms. We keep the rain in the forecast for Saturday. Looks like we might get a little bit of rain Saturday morning. Again, Saturday evening, although most of us should stay dry in the low 70s to finish out the weekend and we're dry for much of next work week.